Vision tap. What you're looking at here is the first test on the focus cell for the output. You can see the watch on the left side and there's my testing rig. You look at the very top. That's there's a, a small hole in that and what that does is I cover that up and you can see that tape where the water line is and the bottom of the tube right there that's what we're going to fill and that's 150 milliliters so what I'm going to do is park this camera right at the bottom and we're going to see how long it takes to fill that and I'll tell you how many amps it's going to be reading it's going to be, we're at uh, 12 volts. We're going to be trying to break around 13 or 14 because we're going to run a charging circuit on it at the same time. And it'll be running around 40, 50 mil, 40 or 50 amps. I'll tell you what that is as soon as we get started. Doing now is waiting for that second hand to reach 30 and then I'm going to turn it on. On. Now, 39, and we'll do the math. Okay, so you have. nine seconds to do 150 mils so we're going to take 60 seconds divided by nine that gives us 666 times 150 milliliters that gives us 999 that's almost one liter We'll do it and we'll take a look at the sap meter. The amp meter is at forty almost forty amps. We'll try it again here. I'll wait till it gets to the seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Actually, we're one second above that. Now, so it's actually 9, not 10. And that's the same as we had before. So that's pretty close to, for all practical purposes, that's one liter a minute. And that's pretty fair. What we can what we can come of this is you can take that on either side of the liter. It's probably a little bit more. Right now the temperature is at 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably this works will be working around 100 degrees. That's not too shabby. I'll show you the setup again here. It's the top of the focus set. So this particular cell is doing about one liter a minute, give or take. It's impossible to go in the point sector. I mean, you could do a liter and a, a third or a liter and a half. Since there's not, it's, we really can't do a, that accurate a reading. I'm not going to pretend it's either way. But for practical purposes, I'm going to call this one liter. So it's at running at one liter a minute. And the trick now is once we've got that 
to bring it up. That's good enough to run in the Honda as far as I'm concerned in uh, any changes I'll be making in the lab. So what I'm going to do is show you the inside of this. It's like the other Aaron cells in which I've decided on this strap down arrangement where there's four wing nuts here that hold this half inch top onto the tube and the real nice discovery was this o-ring you could call it that I showed you in the last video that's absolutely seals this tight there's no more worry about uh, seal and it opens and closes real easy so as far as I'm concerned that's that's a keeper I like to come up with another way of opening this up beside this making it tight but right now these will have to do I think the cells that I make are probably the, one of the easiest to get in maybe not this right here this is the water input tube which I plugged up with a cork while we were testing this is the hydrogen out they're all glued with uh, what's called plumber's goop G-O-O-P these two here are sensors for the water which I really haven't got hooked up yet and of course you've got your electrodes this is 10 10 gauge wire that's hooked here it'll hold should hold almost anything in this here's our temperature gauge which is measuring the temperature for us I haven't decided what I'm going to do in the car yet and you can see how easy that comes out And there's our cell. One of the things I have discovered today, matter of fact, is you notice now I'm putting the electrodes through the top made a big difference in the amount of output I'm getting. Electrodes through the top instead of from one of the top and one on the bottom. There's absolutely no question there's a huge difference in output. So from now on they'll all be in the top like I've been using in the Aaron cells. And you can see the bottom, the way it's hooked in there. And this is one piece. There are 16 plates on here. So I think that's the test everyone wanted to see. Quite frankly, uh, that satisfies me with the output. I'll be able to bring that output up higher. It's just going to take a little more changes, but one liter a minute is close enough. The other thing, uh, as I've told you before, is that these systems here, these ports here, are going to be for the circulation of the water, which is going to cool it down. Hopefully, we'll see what we'll see what happens in that. Again, if you want to write me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com, or if you want to go to my site hydrogentap.com, you'll see some of the other cells that are for the uh, labs. The lab cells are not the same as this. This is going to be used for the car alone. The lab cells are for lab and they're easy access and so you can make changes real very 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 easy. And 